Nelson, being an organisation that supports people with complex disability, was contacted to see whether or not we had anything available for Slajana, if we could meet her support needs. Um, so the discussion began where I heard about her story, who she was and what was important to Slajana. But before being introduced to her, they were asking us whether or not we had capacity to support Slajana, which was a new thing for us because we didn't have anyone in the organisation prior that had her level of medical care needs given that she requires uh, tracheostomy care and ventilator care. So we had to do a lot of research and have a lot of conversations before we could commit to saying yes. Uh, when we found out that Slajana was going to be moving to Eudoria Street, we had extensive body shifts with the Lady Dolly staff, so that included morning shifts, afternoon and night duties, just so we were aware and became familiar with the care that was needed with Sajana. When we were first training with her, it was intense, so we all had the book and we had to tick everything off. It's nice to know that we can come on now and we know off the top of our head if something isn't right, we can change a setting confidently and we're able to were able to get on with it. I certainly did spend a lot of time with Slajana um, and for any transition to be successful that's really important. For me this one was quite unique and from the outset it was very obvious that this was going to be quite a complex transition and I made that very clear to my managers and normally my caseload I would be managing five to six transitions at one time but for Slajana and I worked full time with her for four months and in that time got a really strong insight into everything that we needed to link with, got a really good understanding of what was important to her and how we could best support her, not only with her day-to-day -day needs, but emotionally. We do a planning list every month with her focus so then I can choose my outing that I want to do, how many hours I want to each day and when I the We were very honest with her, we were very upfront. We were sensitive to shielding her from the complexities which were outside of her control. Bureaucracy is everyone's worst nightmare and we just made the effort to work around that and work through it. And for the agencies that we worked with, everyone recognised that this was a really important opportunity for Slajana. And everybody looked outside the box, everybody reassessed what their usual service delivery parameters were and really came to the party to make things work. It's a nice feeling that we're able to have someone feel so comfortable with us and comfortable with the level of care that we provide. We pushed the envelope and we broke down barriers and we went out of our comfort zone and into a new territory but I'm so glad we've done it because it's a huge success story and I think that Slajana has only more opportunities from here forward for her life here at Nelson and just in general. So who's your favourite person at Nelson? Everybody. <laughs>